guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm coming on to show you how to make another one of my mini embellishments and this time it's a little telephone i had lots of people ask how i popped this one together so i thought the easiest thing was just to show you so this die comes as a plate and a lot of the cottage cut cuts dies come like this um and that's great in as much as you don't lose any of the pieces but it's a pain in that you don't necessarily want to cut everything every time it can be quite wasteful unless you're going to cut it all in white card and color it which i sometimes do um, but if you want to use patterned card or specialty cards um it can be a bit wasteful so i've cut everything ready to put it together and i've got it in my little tray here um, but i thought i would just show you very quickly how i try to um, reduce reduce the wastage so i start out by putting the plate on a cutting mat facing upwards like so and then the piece that I want to cut out I'll cut so this is mirror board so I'll turn it over the other way so you can't see it but it's silver mirror board and I'm going to use it for the dial so all I do is sort of estimate how much cardstock and I just place it over the area that I want to die cut now you could um, you could put some washi tape over that if you wanted to, to keep it in place whilst you run it through. Um, and actually, I can see that that's not quite covering the edge of the dial. There we go. It's quite hard on this little uh, baby blue because it only just fits on the platform. And then I'm going to run that through and back again. And hopefully... There we go. So get rid of the waste. And then I pop that one over. And there you have it. I've got the little, just the dial part, which is the piece that I was wanting. So let me put my die cutting machine out of the way. And I'm going to pop all of the um, circles out of this piece because I don't actually want them. Now, the other thing that I find with these plates is that um, it, it, I, I don't ever find that I can layer two things up with um, double-sided tape in between and cut it. I just don't, it'll never cut. It never, ever cuts through. Even with a precision base plate, I can't get it to cut through. So um, I end up sticking everything together. So we'll start off by doing the dial, seeing as that's the bit that we've just started with so as you can see i've cut it once in white once in gold in silver and i've cut it in black but on the black one i put a piece of my micropore tape um so that's if you didn't see yesterday's video that is this stuff from i buy mine from wilco's it's about i don't know 60p or something like that a roll but there's five meters on it it lasts ages and it's brilliant it's sticky enough to stay stuck um on on things like this but you can also put it on your trousers and pull it off and it takes some of the tack off and then you can use it as um tape to run things through your die cutter so i love the stuff i use it on everything so i've run that one through and that just will keep all the little circles it'll keep them in place so now what i'm going to do is layer these three together so the the black is going to be my bottom piece and then I'm going to use this white layer over top here, which I'm going to, and I'm just going to make sure that it all aligns, that I've got all my circles lining up on the inside, on the bottom layer, like so. And then I'm going to do the same with my top layer, which is the silver layer. So again, I'm just going to put some wet glue. I always find that wet glue for this sort of thing is the best because it does give you that wiggle room so you can manoeuvre it about a bit. And again, I'm just going to sort of line that up and layer that up so that that is on. And I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. Now, I'm not too worried about the glue on the top. I'll be able to rub that off um, when the piece is dry. If I try and rub it off now, I'll just move it. So... 
I'm going to do the same with the, this is the base part of the phone. So I've cut this out in a pearlescent pink in Centura Pearl, Centura Pearl Baby Pink. Um, and I'm just layering that again on, on the white um, base layer. And the only reason that I do that is because I like my embellishments to be a little bit thick. I like them to feel quite sort of sturdy and dimensional. So I always put at least one base layer. If I'm using Centura Pearl, one is usually enough, another layer under it, because the Centura Pearl is quite thick. If I'm using a thinner cardstock, then I might, um, I might do two layers of the white and one layer of the paper on top. So then I've got the handle to the phone, so I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. I'm going to layer it one on top of the other and just make sure that that all lines up like so. I'm going to pop that one down. And then I've got this tiny little circle, which is the centerpiece for the phone. So this goes in the middle of the dial. So I'm just again, just a little bit of wet glue, line them up, give them a bit of a squeeze, make sure they're still lined up. Yep. And we'll let that set. And then I've got the hello as well. And I need to do the same thing for the hello, which is a little bit trickier because obviously it's curly whirly cursive font. Um, but like I say, normally I would put, um, I'd take a piece of black cardstock, put a bit of double-sided tape and layer it onto another piece of black cardstock. And then I'd cut out the two layers together to give me that dimension. But in these plate dies, I personally just don't find that I'm ever able to get that it to cut through all three layers, both layers of cardstock and the and the double sided tape. So um, I find that this is the only way that really I can get that dimension and that sort of heft to my little die cuts. So I'm just going to go through, line it up as best I can, like that. And again, I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be able to take off the excess glue. Okay, now before I start actually assembling, I want to put a little bit of ink around the edges of my pink pieces. And that just gives a little bit of dimension to the piece. So I'm just using Picked Raspberry Distress Ink. And just the same as if you were distressing something, I'm just going to go all the way around the pink pieces. Like so. Like that. And this centrepiece as well. And there we go. that and then if I bring my dial back in I've also got a silver paint pen so I'm going to just go around the edge of the dial with my silver paint pen just to cover up that white edge um, where I've layered it just makes it look a little bit more cohesive a bit more like one piece and again I'm just going to let that dry for a moment before I do anything with it otherwise I will smear the paint pen. Okay, so while we're waiting for those bits to dry, I'm going to make the cord. So I just made that using a piece of floristry wire. Um, the ones on these is a little bit thicker gauge wire. It's just a craft wire that I'd got lying about. Um, but this time I'm going to make it using um, floristry wire. This is slightly thinner floristry wire. I'm just looking for something to wrap it round that's reasonably thin. So we don't want it to be too bulky. Okay, so I've just picked up one of my pokey tools and all I'm going to do is place the wire onto the pokey tool like that and hold it with my thumb and then I'm just going to wrap the wire round and round the handle of this pokey tool which is just putting that lovely curl into the wire for me. So I'm just all the way down like so. 
So squeeze it together a bit and be careful not to stab yourself like me. And then I'm just going to slide that off and I end up with this sort of spring. And then what I'm going to be able to do is stick those onto my die cut. Okay. So, obviously you, you may or may not want all of that. I probably am not going to have all of that. I think I'm going to snip mine about there. Like that. Just move that bit. Okay. And I want. So I put my little um, ha um, handset so that it tucked under the two tips there. To secure that down, I'm just going to put a little tiny dot of hot glue on each one. And then I'm going to tuck that in where I want it with that bit forward and those bits backward. And I'm just going to try not to burn myself. Put that like that. Okay. Like that. So that's that bit on there like that. Now, now that my dial is dry, I'm just going to take a cloth and just give it a bit of a, a bit of a rub like so. When I say cloth, I mean a part my t-shirt. Just rub it over, and there we go. Look at that, all sparkly and clean. And I can now put a bit of glue and place that where I want it on my phone, like that. Then I've got my little centerpiece, and because I've done two layers, I don't need to pop that up on anything. And I'm just going to pop that straight in the centre like that. Okay. Now, I've got my little hello, and I want to make that a little bit sparkly. So I've got one of my shimmer pens, and I'm just going to run over it with my shimmer pen. And that'll help hide any of your little glue bits um, and any of your miscuts. Um, you don't notice so much because of the sparkle. So I'm going to just let that dry off and then we're going to put that up there like so. And then we've got the um, foam wire to put on. Now the way I've done it on that one is I've put it between the two layers and you can absolutely do that or you can just glue it onto the back. Um, and either cover it or just leave it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's the back of an embellishment that's going to get stuck on something. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just putting a good dab of hot glue. One of these finger protectors is really useful here because you can put your wire into that glue and hold it down for a moment and just let that glue um, cool down and set. And it will encapsulate the wire in it like so perfect then we can manipulate this wire however we want it and obviously we want that to go in the bottom of the telephone there like that so I think there's a little bit too much wire on there so I'm going to snip it a bit off I'm just going to bring that down. That's better. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a blob of the hot glue there. I'm going to bring that wire in and just push it down. Like so. Taking care to make sure that you let that glue properly set before you move your finger. And there you've got it. Okay. Oops, my little dial's moved slightly. It's better when you're doing these things in assembly um, style because you can, you've got time to let each element dry um, or set or you know whatever it is it's doing before you move on to the next one. Whereas if you're doing them just one like this, obviously, particularly if you're impatient like me, 
you can't wait for them to dry. There we go. And then I'm just going to place that across there like that. And then I've got these Paper Mania um, Love Heart stickers. And I'm just going to take one of the small ones and place it right in the centre. Again, if I'd have had the patience to let it all dry, that would have been easier. But I haven't. So I'm going to fiddle with it and get it right. That'll do. I'll push that on like that. And there you go. Perfect. So there you've got your two little telephones. Obviously that one you can see the glue on the back, whereas that one you can't. So if you didn't like that, you would just cut another one of the um, phone pieces, just the, the body and the, the handset piece, those two pieces. You just cut another one of those in the white and just stick that over the back to cover those. And I probably will do that because I'm fussy. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's how I made my little telephones. Um, and I thought they were super cute and they don't take too much um, work to put them together. And like I say, if you did it all in assembly style, so you, you know, you cut all your pieces and pop them in your tray and then you just pop them together, you'll, um, you'll find that they come together really, really quickly. Um, and I think that tip of, you know, cutting out pieces and putting them where you want them on the die with these plate type dies is useful because I so far I've never used the speech bubble on this die so it would just be a waste to cut that out every time particularly when you're cutting it out in specialty papers and things um, and I didn't like that the other thing is I've had a few people ask me um, what my pokey tool is and um, you know where, where I got the lid from it's actually just a paper piercing tool um, I think it's I think it might be a paper mania one i just got it from the range it was about, about three pounds and this is actually just a bead out of my bead stash and i just pop it on the top there when i'm not using it um uh, because i kept leaning over to grab things and getting stabbed by my pokey tool and i don't like putting it face down because i've bent the tip on well, in fact i've bent the tip on this one but i've bent the tip on loads of them by popping them face down to stop myself from stabbing myself so it's actually a paper uh, paper piercer with a bead on top so I hope you found that helpful. Um, that's it from me for now. I will be back very soon with another crafty video. Um, thank you all for joining me. And thank you so much for everybody that's subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you all again very soon in another crafty video. Bye for now.